Hello friends, how are you guys? Carlos and I are doing pantry duties right now. I was so surprised when Carlos wanted this for the pantry because I thought he didn't care. But he was like, I want those cereal boxes or cereal containers instead of having all the cereal in here in the original boxes. So I went on Amazon and I found this one fairly affordable. There were definitely ones that were very expensive on Amazon. We do not need to spend that much on cereal containers. When I first got my pantry, I tried that whole like aesthetically pleasing pantry thing where I'm sure you guys have seen it like all over TikTok and Instagram. People will like put everything in like a different container. I tried it. It didn't work for us. It was just not, I don't know. It was just, it didn't seem practical and it was just yeah, like it was just not our thing. This is probably the only thing that we'll ever do because cereal is like, you know, easier to maintain. They're cute. They're like this. We just wash them. And then when you want cereal, you open up this lid to pour the cereal out and everything is like airtight, which is nice. And then it also comes with labels, which I think you can erase this. Just try it and you can. Yeah, so you can erase this and write new stuff on it all the time. We put up the expiration date for the cereal. Where should I put the cereal? So it's like kind of... Should I put it at the bottom, date? Yeah. Or like the back? The back, huh? Uh, it's up to you wherever you want it. If you want it hidden, then do the bottom. Oh, or up here on the lid. Yeah, it doesn't matter where. I don't really want it at the front. Oh, well, then just do it, up, do it at the bottom, then. I'll just do it on the lid. Do it at the bottom. No, because I'm scared. Like, what if it rubs off? Oh. Oh yeah, do it on the lid then. Yeah, I'll do it on the lid. We should never lose a lid. There we go. Nice. Next one. Cocoa Puffs is done. We're moving forward to... Let's do this. These are my second favorite cereal. You guys tried this? Honey Bunches of Oats. So freaking good. Wait, no, this is not my favorite cereal. I lied. God. I lied, babe. Nice. That's not my favorite cereal, I'm sorry. This, this is like the most iconic cereal ever. It's my holy grail cereal. I love it so much. It's so freaking delicious. I can't express enough how much you need this in your life. If you go to the store next time you see this, please get it. It's the Cheerios Oat Crunch Oats and Honey. Wait, what happened to the so good. Special K one? I used to fuck with that Special K so hard, babe, but then it got too sweet. Favorite cereal, please, like, Oh my god. No. no, 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 you guys. If you guys do anything this week, you have to go buy this. Oh my god. And then it like soaks into the milk. Bomb. Honey, don't go in. I guess it goes in a certain direction. That doesn't make sense because that's how you hold it. All the other ones like that? Yeah. They have that indent so you like can hold the container. Oh. Oh, thanks babe. Mm -hmm. January 14th, 2025. 25. Oh my god. I can't imagine being in 2025 but that's going to come by so quick. How are we already in April babe? I know right? Crazy. Summer is literally soon. Well, we're two months away from being halfway through the year, which is insane. Yeah, that is really weird. Oh, friends, last night, Carlos and I watched Flame and Hot. I did some research and apparently he didn't come up with it. Oh! I guess, like, he's been lying or something. What? I don't know. Who came up with it? They did it in like a lab, supposedly. But I was like, oh, I, I don't know. How do you start as a janitor and then become the director? There, he he must have done something. No, 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 no. Yeah, that is true. He did. He did work his way up. Okay. Um, that but is, he didn't invent the the Cheeto. Yeah, but like they're saying, like they said that he, like I guess some former employees and stuff, other people were saying that like he didn't invent the the actual like flame and hot flavor thing. Is that true? Or is it corporate China? I don't know, but that's what it was. Take credit for his in, his invention. If it's not true, then that's kind of lame that you're just going with the story. But if it is true and they're saying that he didn't do it, that's still lame. So it's lame either way. Well, anywho, we watched the Flaming Hot movie, which is supposed to be based on the guy. That, what is it? Richard Montanez? Well, I'm probably saying his last name Monta wrong. Monta Mon Montanez. Mon Montanez? Yes. But yeah, it's based on his story and his upbringing and how he started. He was like looking for a job and then he started working as a janitor at Frito Lays, which is the chip company that is also partnered with Pepsi or is owned by the same? It's PepsiCo. 
Oh, okay. And it just shows like how he started as a janitor and then he invented Flaming Hot Cheetos, which you guys know everyone loves. And it was just very inspiring, so funny, and just a really good movie. Like I, good movie. I genuinely would give that movie like a, like a nine out of 10. Like I loved it, it was so good. But yeah, it was like super good, highly recommend if you guys have been wanting to watch it. I know it came out months ago, but we I never think, got to it. I think it was directed by uh, Eva Longoria. It was. You guys should definitely watch it. Yeah, it's actually it. really good. It's a really good movie. Did we watch another one last night? No, we started, we watched 2020 after that. Ooh, that case was good. Yeah, that was, it was pretty messed up. We love 2020. If you guys are ever looking for like a good show, you don't know what to watch, you're sitting there on the couch, 2020 on Hulu, yeah. they have like 40 seasons or something. Every season has like, I don't even know, like 20 episodes. And they're like full series of salt, Cases. I hate unsolved cases. They do a really good job with their documentary, documentary storytelling and stuff like that. Yeah, you guys should definitely watch it. I don't eat cereal that much, so put mine in the back. You can put your favorite towards the front. There we go, friends. Babe, you do know this slides out, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, this one goes there, like that. Oh shoot, looks like you can fit four. I know this isn't a lot of people's favorite, but Raisin Bran is like my favorite cereal. It's good for you, a good source of fiber. People, I know people are gonna be- Wow, that really bothers me. What? That we have two spaces left. <laughs> uh, Here, I'll just bring them to the front. Oh, thank you, baby. Nice, yeah, I like that way better than the box. Yay, now you have a cereal section. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. That was a good surprise though, wasn't it? You guys are two and a half hours away from each other, so it wouldn't even be moving here. We're all done. We base Clay out of his relationship. Ooh! <laughs> you and Chrissy are like done. Yeah. How about you guys get in your sexy little swimsuits? Clay boy! G Bone needs a bathing suit! Bro. Over it, you're like. Two. Really? Yeah, bro. I'd love to talk to her, but it'd be cool if she'd come up to me and... Look, he's around. Does it look different? I'm excited. I'm so nervous to see Clay tonight. It's like the big night you're in Philly. Is he just kind of out of the picture? Yeah. But like, like I know, I just walked down and everyone was like be looking at Chrissy. Hello friends, how are you guys? I am going to put on moisturizer because I have not been keeping up with my skincare routine for the last, I would say like two nights and I'm feeling dry again. I'm just a dry, dry gal. I feel like you guys hear me say that all the freaking time, how dry I am. That's just what happens when I don't keep up with my skincare routine, so it is my fault. The boys just ate. I'm going to warm up some leftovers right now. I did not get to hang out with you guys yesterday. A lot of things happened yesterday and I just could not pick up the camera. Just a few things that are personal, but nothing bad, I promise. So I'm picking up the camera today to hang out with you. Today is Tuesday. We are going to get some cleaning today done. I wanna get a video up actually right after I put some moisturizer on and get some food into my body. Last night, Carlos and I ended up watching a little bit of TV and I was like, oh my God, I am not gonna make dinner today. I wasn't in the mood and I didn't eat all day. So I ordered a pizza and it was so good. So my favorite pizza is from Pizza Hut. It's called the Stuck Crust. I'm sure you guys have had it. It is my favorite pizza in the entire world. It's so good. There's something about the, the like the crust with the cheese and when it's all warm and it's like stringy, it's delicious. So I got a stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut and I got it with chicken and extra mushrooms and it was just so freaking good. I only had two slices last night and then I had like two pieces of their wings. I don't know if you guys know this, but Pizza Hut has really good wings. It is like delicious. I don't know why it's so good. My favorite flavors are the medium buffalo and then the Cajun. The Cajun is like a dry seasoning on top of the wings and it's just freaking delicious. So I have leftovers that I'm gonna eat right now, get a video up, and then I want to clear off the dining table. As you guys know, ever since I got this whole like Ikea system last month, 
month. I haven't had a chance because we've just been like back to back going to doctor's appointments and then spending time with family. Things have been popping up. So I'm going to clear that today. I think that's my goal. We also have such good news, you guys. Carlos got a surgery date. I forgot to tell you guys. Actually, I didn't forget to tell you guys. I was going to tell you last week, but it wasn't confirmed until literally yesterday. And since we didn't get to see each other yesterday, I couldn't tell you. But Carlos got a surgery date. I'm so, so, so happy. He's so excited. He actually has to go into the hospital next week. I think, yeah, to do like pre-op stuff. Like they have to do like testing, blood work, things like that, and then prep him for surgery. He is gonna have surgery at the end of April, which is just such a blessing because we were so scared that it was gonna be like really far out. Yes, finally have a surgery date. We're really, really excited. Also very nervous. Carlos and I have never had any surgery done in our 30 years on this earth. So we're both a little bit nervous. We've been praying and we hope that you guys will pray for a smooth surgery for Carlos as well. The doctor did say that right now she's gonna do, I don't know the word, I apologize, but there is a surgery where they just do like four incisions for the inside on your stomach to get the gallbladder out. But if she goes in and she sees that maybe the gallstones have kind of migrated in other parts of his body, then they're gonna have to do open surgery, which is gonna be obviously very very, very intense. So I'm just praying for the best. I've been praying a lot about his surgery. So if you guys could just pray for us and pray for him, we would really appreciate it. But yeah, his surgery is coming up and we're really, really excited about that because as you guys know, we've been waiting for the last four months now for this surgery date. It's been a very, very long journey and a lot of good things came out of it. Honestly, Carlos lost a lot of weight and he is just living a very healthier lifestyle. He has inspired me to live a healthier lifestyle. I am taking baby steps with that. I just signed up for my first Pilates class. So I'm really nervous about that. If you guys have any recommendations or any advice for Pilates, I'm doing the reform Pilates with the reformer and I signed up for a beginner's class. Hopefully all is well. I'm looking for a way to work my body, exercise, but also find a way to relieve my stress throughout the week. So I'm hoping that the reformer Pilates classes really help me out. Here's my pizza. Let me show you guys. I literally got two slices in yesterday and I was like, I'm stuffed. The thing with stuffed crust pizza is like, it's gonna make you full pretty fast. But yeah, I'm really excited to eat this today. I'm probably gonna eat this all of today because I wanna finish it and not waste any food. So I'm gonna do, oh, the slice is so small. It's like still early in the morning. Let's do one slice. I love my pizza in the air fryer, you guys. There's something about it that's so good. Carlos like sometimes puts it in the microwave and I'm like, oh, it doesn't hit the same, babe. I'm gonna do three slices. I love mushrooms on pizza. Carlos doesn't like mushrooms. So every time we get pizza, we always have to get like different types of pizza, so like different toppings because he loves like pepperoni. No, not pepperoni, sorry. He loves pineapple. And I, I do like pineapple on pizza. I think it's really good. But he just likes a different, you know, arrangements of toppings. I guess I can pop. Oh, my mushroom fell. This honestly has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. Putting outlets in the pantry. It's so freaking nice. Also, don't mind the dirty hair. Today's hair wash day. And it's also exfoliating day because I'm trying to get this tan off my body. And I think I just have a little bit left. And then I'll be back to my normal skin tone. So today is like the everything shower. I also have to shave my armpits. I have to shave my, you know, down there. I have to shave my belly button, my legs. It, it's summertime. So we're back to shaving you guys. I also unplug all of my appliances when I'm not using it. Do you guys do that? We unplug all of our appliances when we're not do when we're not using it because oh my god, I saw that video on TikTok. And actually firefighters also recommended that if you're not using your appliances in your kitchen, unplug that because it could explode and your house could catch on fire. What is my dog doing? I was like deep diving into like ways to like keep your house safe and I went deep diving into this like firefighter tips and tricks kind of thing and it was just yeah anyways unplug your appliances we're gonna do match cook air fry we'll do Riley George honey for what reason are you doing that right now I think five minutes is good this is the mess that we are tackling tonight everything on this table needs to go in the studio and it's a lot of like technology I have like receipts laying around I have clothing I need to put in my bedroom so this is what we are tackling today because we tackled the kitchen a few days ago I gotta do the dishes but I just want this area to be 
really, really clean and just, I, I feel like I'm living in clutter. I'm not loving it. I think I mentioned this a few videos back, but we're also getting our primary bedroom closet done, our walk-in closet. We are, uh, I'm so excited, you guys. Be nice, boys. Riley George. He wants to play with old man. <laughs> Baba, no, 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 everyone just ate. No one's playing. Riley George. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, Riley George. Hey, stop. Stop, babe. Stop. Oh my goodness, you guys. Riley George Jefferson the fourth. Stay calm. Everyone just ate, and I'm like, oh, they always want to play right after they eat, and I'm like, last time you guys did that, kibble came out of your mouth, and I'm not down for that right now. Bubba, you need to relax, okay? And then we can play in a little bit. Anyways, yes, we're redoing our walk-in closet, which I'm so excited about. I'm obviously going to vlog the whole thing and share that journey with you guys. Because of that, we are demoing the closet next week and taking all the old stuff down and our clothes are gonna be everywhere so <laughs> That's what I'm going through right now. Just like a few things. Exciting things, you know? Exciting things are coming and I'm just really grateful for it. To make my life easier, I feel like we should just start next week with a clean house, like completely. So I think we should tackle this table today. I have my pizza. I don't even know if I can finish three. This one's small. We'll start out with this piece. Oh, it's so good. I love it in the air fryer because it just makes it so crispy. <laughs> The cheese is in the crust, and I do light marinara sauce and light cheese. I don't like my cheese and marinara to be overwhelming. And I did chicken and extra mushrooms. And I put red peppers on top. So good. Stay, stay, stay. Mommy wants to go. Do you love it? This is his first time on the chair. He just randomly got up and yeah. got Yeah, because the littles have been enjoying it, but Riley hasn't gotten up yet. And this is his first time. Riley George. Do you love it? Look, he plopped for you. Oh my goodness. Look, we always do no kisses. I never thought I would have a big dog. He's so funny. He never thought. Let me, let me see your tweet. <laughs> What is going on here? Hello boys. The boys have been working with me all day. We are heading to the back of the house now. It is 7-11 right now. 7-11. I think I sat at my office. Shoot, I don't even remember what time I sat down in my office. Do you guys possibly remember? Oh, uh, I think we sat there at... Oh, shoot, you guys, I can't even remember. I'll have to look at my phone and see. <sighs> I am ready now to tackle this table. I got a bunch of work done, uploaded a video, answered some emails, did my calendar for the next month. Literally, I have everything situated and on my calendar until the first week of June. Isn't that so crazy? So we're gonna do this right now because this area has been making me very, very anxious. I just checked my phone. I sat down at two o'clock. I finished at seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, like five hours or so. That is enough desk work for me. I have to get my ass up because I learned that sitting for a long time isn't good for you. I'm gonna get up and get moving a little bit. I have to sit back at my desk because I need to upload a blog for tomorrow. During that time, our amazing friends, our amazing neighbors, they're just amazing. Janique and Brittany dropped off some homemade sourdough bread. Janique has been taking this very, very seriously the last like few months. She's been making sourdough bread at home and she's been experimenting and I am so excited for her. Her birthday's coming up and we got her like the coolest present ever. I think she's gonna love it, but that'll be for another vlog. We'll tell you guys what the gift is and everything. We're gonna, I'm just gonna stop talking. I got too excited and carried away. I'm gonna stop talking. Literally, she's taking it so seriously. Homegirl went and got stickers and a bag for her sourdough. I'm so excited for her. Her sourdough bread always turns out so freaking good. And I'm just so excited that she like found something that she like loves doing. She's been really enjoying it and her bread just turns out so good every single time. I'll have to ask her for the recipe and maybe we can do like a video or something. Literally, you guys, look at this piece of bread and this will last us for like a week or two, depending on what we do. Like if we just eat it with butter, it'll last us probably like two weeks. But if we start making sandwiches, this will be gone by this weekend.
see the light. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I know. Go back. You're doing so good. I know, I know. We're almost done. Give mommy kisses. I know. We're almost done, Papa. I know. Then you can play with your brother. So good. What is wrong with my hair? Baba, it's not that bad. It's just a leg wrap. You're not even in pain anymore. Okay, sir. Now give me some love. You always give me kisses. Just because daddy's here. Uh. <laughs> Riley. Oh my god, I love you so much, you little, you little dog. Ah. Can I get that nose kiss we always do? So yesterday, I was doing a little home project and I got a little bit of super glue on the kitchen counter, which is not good. But if this ever happens to you guys, I learned a trick. So if you ever get super glue somewhere, like on your counter, on your kitchen counter, take rubbing alcohol. This is what I used here. That's what I used. I got it at Target. Pour it onto the area. Let it sit for like 15 minutes and then come back and you can scrape the super glue off and it works. song stuck in my head. Do you know the new Sabrina song? Sabrina Carpenter? I don't know what that is. Oh, it smells so good. Janika's bread? Yeah. Dude, I love her. So bomb. I love her. I love her bread. You want to cut it? I don't want to cut it too thick and stuff. And then I'll toast it. Well, you're the one making your sandwich, so you cut it as thick you as you You don't want any? I can cut my own is what I'm saying. Oh. Dude, we need more eggs. You should tell people to watch the show fall out. No, because I don't know what it's about. What's it about? Post-apocalyptic stuff. Nah, nah. You know that's not my cup of tea. It's really good. Dang, Janika mm. be killing this bread. Mm. Damn. That's really good. Da -na 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 -na. I believe our closet is almost done. It's wild. Wild, Bubba. Wild. The laundry's done. Just thinking about me. Thinking about me. God, I need to learn the lyrics. Espresso. You don't understand good music, bro. I don't know what you're doing. It's weird. I'm shooting hoops. I don't know. I've never met someone that shoots like that. Even. People that I've met that are the worst shooters of all time. That's what you look like. Like out of fucking nowhere. Okay. Ow, <laughs> you just burned. That's what happened. That's what you look like. Okay, no. I, no. Look, this is you. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. Oh my god, baby. Mm. When you get a napkin, can I have one? I'm not getting one. You're not getting a napkin? <laughs> Can I get a napkin when you get I'm one? I'm not getting one. You're not getting a napkin at all? No. Like, I'm <laughs> so... Okay. <laughs> I'm eating eggs and... Thanks, Janika. Oh, send Janika a picture. Let's send Janika a picture, babe. Let's see your sandwich. That was, is that a good picture? Yeah, sure. Gracias, mi amor. It'll make her happy. Oh, uh, kind of fat. I'll have tomatoes. Think her. about me, think about you. Espresso. Let me learn the lyrics for you. Okay, now I'm leaving. You told me to learn it. Okay, ready? No. So you can't sleep, baby, I know. That's me, espresso. You're making this song sound really bad. No, it's a good song. No, I probably won't like it. I'll probably think, I'll probably make fun Cause of it. Because you don't know like good music, bro. I like to make fun of music. That's what I do. It's what I does. Mmm. Damn, this one is so thick, dude. Thick with two C's? No, look. Oh, that's really <sighs> thick. With two C's. Oh my goodness. Baby, for what reason? I couldn't cut it thinner. I tried. Babe, that's a huge sandwich. Is it good? It's all bread. 
Oh my god. Why did you take that big piece and cut it in half and made a small little piece of bread? Oh my gosh, I'm dumb. No, you're not dumb, baby. You just didn't think of it. Today, we are going to accomplish this room. That is the vibe. So we're gonna go through and organize everything. I cannot go to bed tonight unless this room is cleared because I'm filming in the studio finally this weekend. We're gonna move this desk back. Baby, I'm thinking about keeping this when we have a baby and we can roll diapers around the house. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep this. I wish it was white, but it's okay. I have all these drawers. Like there's so much room in here. I have all of these drawers. I'm thinking about doing all of this side makeup and then everything on the side technology. So I have like all of our technology stuff. I have to like empty this, this is like a huge mess. I cleared my vanity, but I wanna go through and go through some of the makeup. I don't need all that makeup. And then, okay. I'm gonna move my desk back. So it looks like a mess, but I don't think it will be. Nice. What do you think? Um, I think I'll do well. Yeah, I think it's just organizing stuff. So okay, this will be very nice. therapeutic. Yeah. And then Carlos is doing laundry, so he'll be in and out. Yes. Notice how iconic the lighting in our house is? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this would be so good for a skincare video. Woo! <sighs> Cheer. Oh, where is it? Yeah, that sandwich didn't make me feel good. <sighs> Tastes so much better with cold water. I hate when you do warm water. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> it's not warm water, it's roof temperature. Yeah, but from now on, baby, you should do cold water. Cold water. We just took Alka Seltzer because those eggs did not make me feel good. I had yeah. just two eggs and some bread, which I've been eating since I was a little girl, so I don't know what's up with me. Maybe because we've been eating clean. I mean, eggs isn't bad for you necessarily, but we haven't been eating heavy. Wait, I'm sorry. No, let me take that back. I had a freaking pizza. What am I talking about? I haven't had eggs like that in a while. Oh, maybe I can't do eggs. I haven't had eggs in a while, but I did have a pizza, so I don't think it's oh. the heavy. Theory. This is me trying to get some sunlight into my life because I'm not going outside because it's too hot. I also am allergic to SPF friends, so you're not going to catch me outside a lot in the summertime because I don't have any sun protection on cleaning off the perfumes. I'm allergic to SPF. The last time I talked to a dermatologist, they said that when I come back, we can do some like testing because there's like different forms of SPF so they can try to figure out exactly what I'm allergic to. Not only am I allergic to SPF, but that one time, I think it was in 2017 or something, Thing. I went to, oh, it was in 2016. I went to San Francisco to film for Benefit Cosmetics. And I remember that night I came home and I had realized that I forgot my face wash when I was packing for San Francisco. And so Michelle was like, oh, I have my face wash. Do you want to use it? And I've never used it before. It was from Tarte. I forgot which one it was. I think it was in like a purple or a blue bottle. By the way, no shade to Tarte. I love them. Their products are really good. So I ended up using Michelle's face wash by Tarte and I broke out within seconds seconds you guys literally in seconds i started breaking out it was so red i wish i was vlogging at that point so i could like show you guys how horrible it was by the next morning my face had swell up where my eyes were completely shut you guys know how you see those pictures online where when people have like a swollen allergic reaction their face like swells up their eyes are super small they barely can see they look so like uncomfortable that was literally me flying home from san francisco and not only that but i had little bumps all over so I literally had to put cream all over my face and it was so f comfortable like talking about it every time I think about it I get I get so uncomfortable I can't so I don't know if one I definitely think I have sensitive skin but two there's got to be like a specific ingredient or something that makes me very very allergic and react that way you know I've been kind of traumatized from that incident so I just you know we're not gonna go there so I've been kind of scared to go get tested for anything and then the second time that I went to San Francisco to film for benefit cosmetics as well I was on set and they had a makeup artist and she used the Neutrogena makeup wipes. You guys know the like the light blue Neutrogena makeup wipes. They're very popular. Everyone uses them. Everyone talks about them. And so on set during filming, the makeup artist used the Neutrogena makeup wipe to wipe off my makeup because we had to like redo it in between shots. And I got an allergic reaction to that as well. So whatever is in some SPF, the Tarte face wash and the Neutrogena, I'm like, I wonder if there's something in common 
or maybe I, I'm just a very sensitive gal and I just can't take a lot of, you know, ingredients in certain products. That one, that one was pretty bad too. I remember she like wiped my face and then the next day that part was like really itchy. It swelled up and it was so red and uncomfortable. And then I had it for maybe two weeks, I think. I think I was vlogging that trip. Do you guys remember if I was vlogging? Yes, I was. I was vlogging during that trip. The second allergic reaction, I was vlogging. I think I have footage of my allergic reaction and then it, I think it it was there for like two weeks and then it started drying up so my face felt like it was super dry and it was peeling and that was also really uncomfortable definitely I'm a sensitive skin gal oh I wonder if I can use my perfume displays maybe let me go get it you guys remember when I had these Ooh, yes I always save everything because you never know when you need it again this is nice I don't know. I'm so flustered, man. So this is how my mind works, okay? You guys might not understand. I am aware that I have issues. So I was gonna do makeup all down the left side here. So then I just want this to be like all makeup and beauty related, cause like that's just how my mind works. And then everything on the right side would be technology. So I could do the two perfumes here, but I feel like this area is so big. So then we go over here and the two perfume stands actually fit perfectly here. So that means all my makeup needs to go on the right side because that's how my mind mentally works. I don't have other options. So I have to like kind of figure out what I want. I think all makeup will fit on the side and then all of this will be technology, right? Yeah, I don't have like that much makeup. Yeah, I feel like this will be, we'll do all makeup and then we'll do all tech. I just wanted makeup, but here's the thing. I wanted makeup on this side because it's right next to my vanity and I can literally wheel myself over here if I wanted like blush or I wanted like to look at lashes, you know? Honestly, I just need to get over this. It's not a big deal that the perfume is on the right side where the tech is. I don't think I really have a choice. Why is the sun so good in this house? I should really take advantage of the sun the afternoon and do some like skincare videos and stuff. I just really underestimated today. You know, I thought I could whip this out in like two hours, easy peasy. It's not like I have a huge mess. My lips are chapped, my asshole is chapped. Everything about my life sucks right now because I'm feeling overwhelmed but it's also so therapeutic. It's like a beautiful mixture between the two. I don't know how to explain it. For those that love to clean and organize as therapy, you know what I'm saying. It's like the mess is so big, right? But we want to just continue because that feeling at the end when this is done, is going to be so worth it. I'm also drinking Gatorade Zero. Just discovered this, did not know that Gatorade made Gatorade Zero. It has zero calories, zero sugar, so that's really nice. I love the blue one. I think it's called Glacier Blue. Let me know what your favorite Gatorade flavor is. I would love to try it out. My favorite is the Glacier Blue, but today I'm having the Glacier Cherry. This is what it looks like right here. It's okay. I used to love it when Carlos and I first started dating. I think this is the one that we used to drink when we first started dating. I remember the blue one's my favorite. I felt like I needed a little bit of electrolyte. Oh, the dryer is ready. Just finished this first section here and I'm just gonna continue. I just wanted to take a little break and say hello. I'm surviving and the sun is bomb.
I finally finished. I do have to go through my makeup. So I figured we would do that maybe tomorrow or the day after. So it's not like too overwhelming. Everything has a home. Everything looks good. Now it's completely cleared. I have to move all this to the storage room because we don't really need it anymore. I do have to find a place for my filming light chargers. So those will be moved out there. On top of the desk, I have makeup that I need to go through and some technology stuff. But this is what it looks like so far. It looks so good. I ended up organizing my lashes in here. I am so in love with the way this looks. When this was in my vanity, it felt like I had a lot of lashes, but now that it's in this big drawer, I feel like I don't have that many. Lily lashes are my favorite. They're so, so good, you guys. And you can easily get it at Sephora now, which is really nice. And then down here, I just have, these two are like glitter and stuff that I like look at during the holidays. And then I have this container with all new makeup. So now I have a place that I can look for new items to try. So it's not like mixed in with my old items and then I totally forget to try them. So that's what we have so far. Technology, I have to go through. Like this drawer is organized, but like this one is pretty messy. For now, I kind of just stuff things into its home and then I'm gonna sit down and organize. I have all of my wires that I use daily here. I think I'm gonna get another one of these containers. If you guys remember, I bought this at Target for $15. They're so good. I organized my technology over here and then over here I was able to organize my lip products. You guys, how satisfying are all of the Summer Friday lip balms? Oh my goodness. I love these. For $15, they're really good material and I feel like you can organize so many things with them. And then I also organized my perfumes here. They look so good. I think this is a really good place to stop for tonight and then keep it going tomorrow. I've been on this cleaning the house, organizing the house, decluttering the house kind of vibe. I think it's spring cleaning. I feel like maybe that's why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. I also feel like there is so much going on in like my life that the house just should be organized and should be, you know, clean and everything should have a home. I feel like I would feel much better considering I live and work at my house. There's gonna be a lot of like cleaning the next few weeks. I, I apologize in advance if that's not your cup of tea. However, I do hope that maybe watching this will motivate you guys to declutter and like deep clean and maybe go through that closet that you've been wanting to go through or go through those drawers or organize your closet and declutter stuff. I know the next few days we are not only going to tidy up the rest of the house but we have to go through clothing because Carlos and I are getting our closet remodeled in the next two weeks or so it's gonna look amazing I'm so excited but this is also a great time for me to go through clothes things that I know I haven't touched the entire year go through shoes and just really clean that up my goal is to have the entire house clean and organized and decluttered by the day that Carlos gets his surgery because I just want him to be able to feel like he's in a very zen place because he's already going through a lot with surgery so we're gonna have a lot of cleaning content the next few days but yeah, anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I am so pooped. I'm craving Vietnamese noodle soup right now, but I don't have it. So I might have to go to the store right now and make it, but we'll see because I still have to hit the shower and do my everything shower that I didn't get to do yesterday. So today I'm actually gonna do the everything shower and like exfoliate and all that. I love you guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are also like in that cleaning like chapter in your life right now. I just feel like this is a moment that I really need to just sit down and really go through the home. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.